So we'll have a look at a reaction now which demonstrates the relative oxidizing powers of the halogens. So I've got various representations of the reaction. So we've got a picture form, we've got the actual chemical equation there, and we've got a dot and cross diagram here. So we'll start with the, the pictures. So we've got this angry looking character here in green. That's obviously the chlorine. And there's its dot and cross diagram there, the diatomic chlorine molecule. This orange character here with the ice cream is supposed to represent the bromide ion. So we've got two of these. And the ice cream represents this extra electron that each of the bromines has got, which has given it this negative charge. So you can see the blue, hopefully you can make out that blue dot there, represents this extra electron. So if we look at the, the pictures, that looks meaner, the chlorine looks a lot meaner than the bromine. And so what's it going to do? It's going to steal the ice creams. So each of these chlorines, this chlorine atom here, is going to steal that electron. Just remember there's seven electrons in this outer shell. It's going to steal that and complete the outer shell for that one. That one's going to do exactly the same. And so what we'll end up with is kind of the opposite of what we've got here. So I'll just take the sticker book away. So you can now see the horrible looking chlorine there has actually got the ice cream now. So they've separated. They are now separate chloride ions with this extra electron. And the poor bromines, well, what have they become? They've become individual Br atoms. And so they pair up and form this diatomic bromine molecule instead. And we'll just finish with the information in red here. So I've written the word redox up now. So this reaction is a redox reaction. And you can see from the oxidation numbers, so that zero there is the oxidation number of each chlorine in Cl2. The oxidation number of chlorine is going from zero down one to minus one. So a decrease in oxidation number is classed as reduction. And the oxidation number of the bromine in Br- is minus 1. And each one of those is increasing its oxidation number by 1 up to 0. So an increase in oxidation number is classed as oxidation. In terms of electrons, what's happened? Remember the oil rig explanation for reduction in oxidation. So in terms of electrons, oxidation is loss of electrons. So we'll look at this process here. So the dot and cross diagram is probably the easiest way to see it. There's that blue electron there, or the ice cream. They haven't got it at the end. They've lost an electron each, and so that's um, oxidation. The reduction process, reduction is the gain of electrons. So haven't got the ice cream haven't got the extra electron but they have now. Oxidizing agent. So what is an oxidizing agent? An oxidizing agent is a substance that causes oxidation by accepting electrons. So this is the oxidizing agent, the chlorine. It's accepted the electron from the bromide ion and become a chloride ion in the process. So we'll finish off by explaining why does this happen? Why is chlorine able to oxidize the bromine in bromide to Br2. So if you think about the sort of electron shell diagrams for both substances, we've got chlorine with a smaller atomic radius. It's got fewer shells because it's in period three compared to bromine being in period four. So it's got one less shell, so it has less shielding. And even though it's got fewer protons in the nucleus, you can see 17 protons in a chlorine nucleus compared to 35 in a bromine nucleus, these factors here, the smaller radius and the less shielding, outweighs that. And so chlorine has a stronger attraction for the electron. So this extra electron on the bromide ion can be pulled across. And obviously these would turn into bromine atoms and you'd form your diatomic Br2 molecule from two of those. So we just flip the scenario around now and say what would happen if you had bromine and chloride 
so there's the blue electron over there now, can bromine oxidise the chlorine in the chloride ion? And the answer is no, for the same reasons. So the chlorine here is holding onto that electron um, more strongly than the bromine is able to sort of prise it away. And again, it's due to the smaller atomic radius, the less shielding, from it being in the period three versus period four, and so it's got a stronger attraction for the electron. Bromine can't take it. So bromine is not a powerful enough oxidizing agent. And we'll just finish with a, a few scenarios and ask ourselves, can this reaction take place? Is the halogen a powerful enough oxidizing agent? So bromine with iodide can bromine take that electron from the iodide ion? Well, a good handy thing to do is to look at the relative positions in the periodic table in the group. You can see bromine's higher up than the iodine, and so it's going to have smaller atomic radius, fewer shells, therefore less shielding than the iodine, and so it can take the electron away. And so you would get a displacement reaction taking place, and so the Br in the Br2 would turn into Br- and the I- would turn into I2 and be displaced and just balance that up with the 2's there. Can iodine oxidise the chlorine in chloride? So can iodine steal the electron from the chlorine? Of course it can't because it's got a greater atomic radius, it's got more shielding and therefore a weaker attraction for the electrons, so that reaction can't happen. Iodine is not a powerful enough oxidising agent. And let's introduce a halogen that we haven't even looked at yet. So fluorine, can fluorine oxidise the chlorine in chloride ions? So where is fluorine in relation to chlorine? It's right at the top. So obviously it's got the smallest atomic radius of these. It's got the least amount of shielding of all of the halogens and so therefore it's going to have the greatest attraction for the electron so it, of course it can take that electron it can oxidize chlorine and so the F becomes F minus and the Cl minus becomes Cl2 and you need those twos there for balancing so in this case the chlorine is displaced but it can only be displaced by the fluorine